Okay, guys, let's check out a few things from the New York Comic Con 2024. And yes, if I sound tired, it's because I had a long ass day. So let's go. Well, of course, we got the Dark Magician. Yes, I already did a few videos on it, already covered. But here's what it looks like in the flesh, I gotta say. Looks pretty darn nice. Like I said before, the amount of detailing on this guy looks great. I like all these little ridges that they had on it even on the staff the face looks good the hair could use a little bit more hair separation honestly but the rest of the figure just looks great you can see it with his um effect part which looks great by the way that stand you guys can see there that triple arm st stand which is pretty awesome and seeing it next to the red eyes black dragon the blue eyes man i i cannot stress this enough Yu-Gi-Oh fans are eating filet mignon, okay? They're eating filet mignon. You're eating really darn good. Like SH Figure or it's freaking Rebel Tech. Freaking Um, I think there's gonna be a SH Figure Arts Yugi figure as well. Or oh no, I think it's oh yeah, it's an amazing Jamaguchi. So yeah, you guys are eating so darn good, so well. I mean, you guys are eating. Oh man. You guys are getting, your guys are gonna be turning into Jabba the Hutt pretty soon, eating this, and you're just, and you're gonna be as, as broke as on the solo. <laughs> that would be great. So yeah, Star Wars reference aside, by the way, Star Wars is dead because Disney killed it, not coming back. So, um. It's pretty nice, and as you guys can see, re-released, re-released, so they're re-releasing -re them. Honestly, I wish I had the money to get both of the dragons, that would be great, but... I... I as much as I enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh, even if it's not in the card game, and there's other stuff that I'd rather buy, honestly. So, next up, we got BOOM! The Chungoki Gundam EX, uh, which, honestly... I did see the videos on it. I know that it has an LED system on it as well. Um, but it's honestly it's a little bit too expensive for a Gundam that hasn't even proved itself. I don't even know if the series is out. Is it out on Netflix? I'm not 100% sure. And honestly, this design of this Gundam, like... It's like, guys, the EC-8. I don't like the EC-8. You know, I, I like the ground Gundam. The ground Gundam looks great, but this guy just looks a lot more like the EC-8. And it's like, eh, I'd rather not, you know. So, Chio, Bean, Saber, meh. The bazooka looks nice. It's a, a nice design, but other than that, it's like, yeah, okay. It's a Gundam that hasn't proved itself, and I really don't, 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 don't care about it, honestly. I, I'd rather spend the 230 bucks on something else. There's a lot of better Chungoki figures that you can buy. Honestly, even Gundam ones. Because you can go with a freaking Sasabi. You can go with the Strike Freedom. There's quite a few. So, we got Storm Collectibles. And by the way, I'm pretty sure there's going to be more stuff. As you guys can see, it takes place from the 17th to the 20th. So, there's still a few more days. And of course, boom! Ryu! Ryu, looking great. And by the way, people that say, Oh, Ryu and Ken look too anime-ish. Mm, yeah, do you do remember that Street Fighter... This Street Fighter game, Street Fighter Zero, is... Um, it's still using sprites, right? And sprites are pretty much animated. And... It, it will make sense for them to look very anime-ish. Because that's pretty much what they're supposed to be. So, we got Baki here. Remember, this is from their 112 scale. So, 6-inch figures. And they're looking great. If the quality control holds up and the final products end up being, being like this. That's going to be pretty darn cool. Of course, we got their Cobra. You see Cobra there? Looking great. And Turugi here. Looking pretty awesome. 
I like how they did the bandages. Pants. Sword. Bunch of hair separation. Even Cobra has a lot of hair separation. You can see it back here. And of course, we already saw Amma and Baki. This is their 1 6 scale. So basically, the 12 inch line. Isn't Hama supposed to be a little bit taller than Baki that is? Like, uh, uh, way more? I'm not 100% sure. Super nice. But I got a bonus for you guys. And here it is. It's Sarbon. Yes. Sarbon's true power from SH Figure Arts. This is a Premium Bandai exclusive. Made of ABS, PVC, and it measures 16 centimeters. How much is that? Well, that is 6.3 inches tall. I was expecting him to be a lot taller, honestly. So as you guys can see here, he was gonna come out in July 2025. Um, where is the pure days? No, we're on pure dating, right? Nope. You mean Bandai exclusive, of course. But I'm guessing pre-order dates. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they start on the 28th. I think or. 25th. Uh, it should be pretty soon on the 20th. But check that out. Look how big and thick this guy is. Ooh, hoo, hoo. you guys fought. Um, what's her name? Was thick. Yeah, he's thicker. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that toad face. The brain. <laughs> the mouth. He's so. He's so crazy. Look at those shoulders, man. Of course, look at the SA Trigger Arch diaper. You guys, that's a sumo diaper right there. Look at that. I, I like the face. I like how they did the face with the mouth. Man, you know what figure I would like SA Trigger Arch to do now after seeing this? They have to go back to making Pokemon figures and they have to do a uh, Ferrali Guard. That would be pretty darn awesome. Ferrali Guard? With this amount of detail? Man, that would buy that in a heartbeat. Look at that. Look at the Eve eyes. Oh man, this, this guy is crazy look at look, 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 look at that. Sadly, no fabric cape. I don't know why they as we figure out sometimes it's like sometimes we'll use fabric, sometimes we will not. You always be using it if you can. Look, check that out. They have the death face. So he, they have his death face and look at Vegeta. Look at that face for Vegeta as well. Awesome. Awesome. Look at that. The nails. What a badass. What a badass. So, how much is this going to cost? I'm guessing he's going to be probably going to be around 100. It doesn't say. You guys can see there. No around the pricing. But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it's going to be around 100. You know. And pre-order should be pretty darn soon. So just keep an eye out. Remember, if you are not in Japan, um, then you have to wait for Premium Bandai CUS. And that maybe or maybe not, they will have it. It's always the lock of the draw. Remember that you're probably going to pay. Let's say if it's 100 bucks, you're probably going to pay 150 125 for it. Just because they, they're going to charge you more. Um, same goes for Big Bad Toyster and a lot of other um, third-party resellers. But I'm pretty sure you could find some that probably have it for a lot less uh, than the sticker price. But remember, you do have to pay shipping if you're planning on importing it from Japan. It's, that's just how it goes. So I don't get it. I, I, I say it because honestly, some people are like, Oh, this figure, you said that this figure's a hundred bucks. And now, when I went to buy it, I have to pay 125 for the shipping. Well, yeah, what do you expect? Shipping was gonna be free? No, this, this ain't Amazon. You ain't buying from Amazon. No. So, that's it. That's, that's for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time.